Today is day 95 of SQL, and I'm going to go and do the gradebook challenge. Um, so yeah, so it says we've created a database to track student grades with their name, number grade, and what percent of activity they've completed. In this first step, select all of the rows and display the name, number grade, and percent completed, which you can compute by multiplying and rounding the fraction completed column. Okay, so um, let's do select everything from what's the thing called student grades um, and I need to select the name the number grade and the percent completed so really what I need to do is select the name um, the number grade and then I need to select the I think I have to round the answer so I have to round the fraction what's it called the fraction completed and actually multiply it times 100. And then I have to do as, and then say something like percent, percent completed. There we go. Okay, so just in case I went too fast, I really just said I'm selecting the name, the number grade, and then I'm taking um, the fraction, because they gave us the fraction as a decimal, I need to convert it to a percent. So um, to do that, you just multiply times 100. And they said that they wanted the answer rounded. So I just added the round um, function and I rounded that answer, it gives me the percent. And then I took that and made a new column, right? Because that's what I'm selecting, a new column. And I named it as percent completed because that's what they asked. And then I just said from student grades, which is the table. Okay, next step. Now this step is a little tricky. The goal is a table that shows how many students have earned which letter grade. You can output the letter grade by using case with the number grade column, outputting A for grades greater than 90, B for grades greater than 80, and so on and so on. Then you can use count with group by to show the number of students with each of those grades. Sure. So, um select I guess whoops count everything or maybe not let me do type and then what I really want is the number grade probably should Put that in lowercase so type number grade where the case is let's see so when number grade isn't number grade or greater than 90 okay so for when number grade is greater than 90 then say a and then when number grade is uh, greater than 80, then it's a B. And then when number grade is greater than 70, then it's a C. And then else, well, no, I have to do end, then else, F, and then as, um, what am I calling this? Letter grade by using case as letter grade. Or can I just do letter grade without quotations? I'm going to have to check that. Is it else or is it otherwise? I think this has to go before. Okay, hold up. This has to go after the else and then we can do end probably do end here and then say as letter grade and then from student grades. What's it called? Student grades. And then I think this has to go in quotations. Hmm. This is supposed to be number grade. Okay, did I do it right? I don't know why I put type. 
Or I think it's because I was working on the last example. I was like, I think that's why there was a type in there. Okay, um, okay, let me fix the formatting. I think this one's supposed to indent as well. All right, I think I got it. Or maybe I don't got it. What? Oh, I have to group by. Okay, but um, I selected the number grade for the case when the number grade is greater than 90, then the, give it a value of A with a number of grade is greater than 80, give it a value of B with a number grade is greater than 70, then give it a value of C. Interesting. And then end that case and then set that um, set those values to a new column called letter grade from student grade. So do all of that from student grade. So I have my letter grade. And now I have to group by and count. So I have to use the count and group by to show the number of students with each of those grades. So I'll have to do count, oops, count everything. And then group by, what exactly are we grouping by? The names? No. So we have name. No, we are grouping by my name. So don't we have to select the name? Group by name. It has to be before here. For some reason, did I spell it wrong? Group by name. It's so weird. So it's grouped by name, but I don't think, okay, there we go. Okay, it's supposed to be after. I always get confused if it's before or after. Okay, so um, what did I do wrong? So maybe get rid of, I get rid of name, I can't group by name. Or maybe what it wants is for me to do a whole other thing. Let me do control Z. So I'll copy this and I'll paste that in here and then say I'll count everything and then group by name. But maybe I have to count the names. No, I have to count everything and then select the names. Well, that's weird. Maybe I'll have to group by letter grade. All right, and then instead of, well, I'm confused. Okay, so I have the count, I have the name. What if I don't need the name? That doesn't make sense. So, um, so I'm counting everything, or do I count the names for the following case, and then I'm grouping by the letter grade. All right, because it's saying um, I can use count and group by to show the number of students with each of those grades. So it's not asking for the name of the students, it's asking for the number, so that would be the count. So I have one student with a letter A, I have three students with the letter B. I have one student with a C and one student with an F. So I'm not sure why it's not working. Um, yeah, I have no idea why this is not working. Because isn't that what I have? So let me see. Um, yeah, at the top, I don't know. So I do have a number grade, right? I have two students with the letter with the B. But is a 90 a B? What if I do greater than or equal to? And then do the same thing here. Doesn't really change anything. What if I just delete this? Oh, so I was right. Okay. I just, okay, but 
Why did it tell me? So I guess it just wanted me to add on to it and not to make a new one. Okay, great. So yeah, did it right. I would just personally say um, number, maybe like number of students, right? So number of students with that certain letter grade. All right, that's it for today. Bye.